Hello and welcome to This One Thing, a daily video devotional coming to you from First Presbyterian Church of Fort Lauderdale. My name is Nick Merchant. I'm one of the associate pastors here. And each day, one of our pastors or staff members are going to be looking at one of the texts in the Revised Common Lectionary's daily readings. And we'll be pulling out one thing for you to consider. We hope that you find this an encouraging and thought-provoking part of your day. Enjoy. I don't know about you, but, but I miss being with people. Uh, I've, I've found myself talking to neighbors uh, more than ever before. People who I've seen uh, walking by uh, dozens of times without any kind of interactions previously. Uh, I, I find us waving back and forth. And uh, just this past week, I've, I've met a few new people, uh, Lisa and her her dog Teddy Bear, uh, Mel and his wife Barbara. I find myself thinking about having people over to the house for dinner and, and, and thinking about what I might cook and, and the preparations that we would make to have them over. I, I miss being with people. Our text today uh, speaks to this a little bit and I, th I think it's really appropriate um, as we begin to think about coming back together as people. We find Moses and the Hebrew people uh, making preparations, and, and they're making preparations for, for a meeting uh, of sorts. They're, they're making preparations for an encounter with God. In fact, they are at the base of Mount Sinai, here in Exodus chapter 19, and, and, and they're preparing to receive uh, what we have come to know as the, the Ten Commandments. There's a novel uh, called uh, The po Poisonwood Bible, and, and it's a story about a preacher and his family, a uh, wife and four daughters, that travel to the Congo as, as missionaries. And, and the story is told from a unique perspective. Each chapter is told in the first person, but it changes from... Um, in, in between each of the, the women in the family. So uh, a chapter will be told from the daughter's perspective and then from the wife's perspective. And, and, and in one chapter, uh, one of the daughters is describing her father's preaching. And she's talking about this look that he is getting in his eye as, as he prepares to make a particularly emphatic point. She says, he was getting that look that he gets, like, like Moses, tromping down off Mount Sinai with ten fresh ways to wreck your life. And for much of my life, I viewed God's law uh, or instruction as confining, as restrictive. Perhaps even as ten fresh ways to to wreck my life. I, I think if we're honest, many of us consider rules to to be just that as as restrictive. And as I read our text this morning, I'm reminded that God's law, that God's design for our lives, is a, is about something far much more than than a than a list of of what we are to do or not do. I want to read from you from Exodus 19, verse 20 here says, When the Lord descended upon Mount Sinai to the top of the mountain, the Lord summoned Moses to the top of the mountain, and Moses went up. The Lord descends, and Moses goes up. God doesn't simply just give the law but rather they come together to meet. And the preparation to give the law, the coming down, the going up, it's about one thing. It, it becomes about relationship. It becomes about magnifying and, and enhancing relationship. And Jesus goes on to invite us to, to understand this even better in the New Testament. He sums up the law by saying that, that we are to love God and to love neighbor. 
It's about this one thing. Relationship. How appropriate now, as we begin this slow process of coming back together in relationship. Now, how does that change your approach to the Word of God? Rather than perhaps viewing it as, as ten fresh ways to wreck your life. Rather than seeing it as restrictive or confining, I invite you to see God's word, God's law, as ways that we restore, renew, and revitalize our relationships with one another, with the world around us, and with God. Be safe. Be well. And we'll see you tomorrow.